Hi, this is Jin.、Uh, I'm in my apartment right now, and、uh, today we're going to talk about instant cameras. First one I'm going to show you is the uh, Polaroid uh, Classic 600 cameras.、Uh, this is one of the、uh, probably one of the best、uh, out there you can get. This is the Polaroid、uh, 680.、Um, it's a folding camera. You can、uh, unfold it by. Uh, pulling the top. Okay. okay. The best part about this camera is it has a ultrasonic、uh, rangefinder, a electronic flash, and a focusing distance of a foot and a half. So you can take very、uh, uh, close-up shot with it, or a self-portrait, just by holding the camera to yourself. Use the.、Um, Uh, the 600 series film usually comes in、uh, two forms. One is、uh, black and white.、Uh, this one is a is a color. I think it says、uh, PX, so it means color.、Uh, you focus the camera by half pressing the、uh, the shutter button. So that's what you do. And、uh, if you fully depress the the shutter button, and you take a picture. Should I do one right now? There's a picture, but I guess the film wasn't so good.、Um, okay, that's that. To、uh, fold the camera, you basically pull this part and、uh, close everything. And a lot of people like、uh, Polaroid film because they offer a very、uh, interestingly interesting color palette, and、uh, I love them too. But I, I couldn't. Uh, deal with the expensive price, though. Of course, you can you can buy them、uh, from Impossible Project right now because Polaroid doesn't produce 600 film anymore or any film, in fact.、Um, uh, but they are fairly expensive. They are about、uh, $20 per pack and、uh, eight frames.、Uh, For each, from each pack.、Uh, the next one I'm gonna show you is the、uh, is fairly modern, made by Fuji. The Instax 110. I'm sure a lot of people has this. Uses the Instax wide film.、Um, I think I have one pack right here.、Uh, it、uh, has a fairly large image size. So maybe with the、uh, small aperture offered by this camera, you can still get. Uh, some sort of depth of field. The color is not that either.、Uh, turn the camera on by pressing the big red button. Okay,、uh, it's very bulky.、Um, functional wise, it has two distance settings. One is the close、uh, setting is from 0.9 meters to 3 meters, and the other one is 3 meters to infinity. Uh, three um, uh, brand new settings: light, neutral, or dark. And it has a button that you can set to、uh, turn the flash on and off. Okay,、uh, shutter ba- shutter button right here. The、uh, flash it uses bunch of、uh, AA batteries, four of them.、Uh, it's easy to get. I think you can get one. Get a kit for maybe sixty to a hundred dollars, depending on where you buy them from.、Uh, either it comes with a pack of film or not. The viewfinder is、uh, it's okay. It's, it's it's not huge, but it's it's pretty bright. You can see everything.、The、camera comes with a、um, a close-up lens. You can attach it onto the lens, and something attach attached to the.、Uh, The viewfinder, so you can get even、uh, more close-up shots.、Uh, I forgot to introduce、uh, my assistant today,、uh, Chen Yi,、um, and I'm gonna take a picture of her and show the picture later. All right,、uh, it's gonna show up slowly, so gonna take a while. Okay, the next one I'm gonna show you is what I consider the best、uh, Instax camera out there.、Uh, it's the Instax 500 AF. 
Uh, it's a it's an older sibling of uh, the one I just showed you, the uh, 210. Um, the reason why I like it is because it's uh, auto focusing camera. Um, otherwise, it's uh, pretty similar to uh, 210. Uh, on the back, you can see uh, three buttons and the switch. Uh, red button is the power. You can turn the camera on and off. And uh, there's a, um, a flash button, you can turn the flash on and off, and a timer button, which is not available on the, um, on the 210. Also, the switch uh, sets the camera on light, neutral, or dark. Uh, this one right now doesn't have any film, so I can actually show you uh, how to load the Instax film. Where's the film? Right here. <coughs> Okay, I have this pack right here. Oops. Um, this is the uh, film side. You can see the dark slide, and there's like a, a no touch button, a no touch symbol, no touch symbol right here. Uh, basically, you open the back and uh, film side in there and uh, close it. Uh, one, and the uh, dark slide is gonna pop out automatically. Uh, same thing, I'm gonna take a picture of my partner today. Uh, Okay. Yeah, the, this camera, the uh, the roller is a little bit dirty, and you can see the uh, the uh, black marks on the on the film. Uh, may require some cleaning on the roller. Oh, pretty good. Cool. Of course, this camera uses a little bit uh, uh, older batteries. Uh, it consumes two lithium uh, one two three A battery. Take one out for you. Um, you can buy them from Walmart or pharmacy stores that sells uh, photo batteries. Uh, they're not cheap. I think you, for a pair. It costs you maybe over ten dollars or something in that range. So this is the uh, Instax uh, 500AF. Last one I'm gonna show you is the um, uh, Polaroid 1A. Is the uh, uh, is one of my most treasured camera. It has a cap here. Um, it has a a rangefinder made by Zeiss. I think some of them are actually uh, doesn't have a rangefinder, it just have a viewfinder, but this one comes with a Zeiss viewfinder. Um, you open the, um, the lens by lifting the uh, uh, the focusing, well the focusing uh, thing here. Okay. Has a paper bellow, or whatever that, that was made. The lens is a Tomino um, one hundred and forty millimeter uh, four point five lens. Uh, the lens might not seem to be a fast lens by today's thirty five millimeter standard, uh, but just because the sheer size of the uh, film, uh, you can get very shallow depth of field with this camera. Okay, um, and by the way, the camera uses. Uh, peel apart uh, pack films. I have two of them right here, uh, both made by Fuji Film. One is FP 100C and the FP 3000B. Uh, the 3000B is a ISO 3000 black and white film, and the 100C is a 
uh, ISO 100 color film. Uh, I think the black and white is no longer made, just like its predecessor, the 100B, that was no longer made. So I, I think Fuji recently stopped producing the um, uh, 3000, uh, but the color film is still being made right now. Uh, of course, there are you can you can, of course you can still buy uh, the original Polaroid film. They're usually expired, and it has a very bluish or uh, greenish tone. Uh, uh, I'm sure people still buy them, but the quality is uh, not um, as good as the uh, uh, the current films, uh, unless you just like the color it produces. Okay, uh, so for the camera itself, the focusing is done by pushing the two focus uh, levers or whatever you call this right here. A little tab here that links uh, the lens to the rangefinder. So in the rangefinder, uh, if the if the image. Uh, overlaps then it's in focus just like a, a, a Leica rangefinder. The maximum shutter speed is 5000 and of course you get a one second or a, a, a bulb shutter. The maximum aperture is 4.5 and the minimum is 90 which is amazing. Uh, uh, you can actually get some really long um, uh, exposures with this camera. Uh, to use this camera, because it's full manual, uh, you have to do the uh, do your metering first, uh, set the uh, aperture and uh, shutter speed on the lens, do your focus, um, and then cock the shutter. Okay, once all that is done, you can just press the. Uh, the, but the red button was the number two written on top of it, and uh, click. There it is. Once that is done, uh, because this is a peel apart, peel apart film, and uh, there's a little tab right here. Pull it. Oh. To pull it. Okay, and uh, the film is gonna come out right here. Okay, now that's your exposed shots. Uh, the film recommend you to uh, wait for a minute and a half, I think, and then uh, take them apart. There's a, a switch on the front panel. Uh, so the the X and M are for flash sync. Uh, if you know about uh, flash sync, and you will know what that means. And the V is for uh, self timer. If you set it to V, uh, it's gonna give you a uh, maybe 10 second or 15 second self timer. Maybe I'm wrong. Picture time again. Uh, this camera has a pretty uh, long minimum focusing distance. I think it's a, uh, maybe about a meter. So I gotta stay away just a little bit. Sweet. Okay, um, and, and the camera has a leaf shutter, so you can sync it to uh, 500th of a second, which is pretty cool. Okay, we'll wait a minute and a half for that. To close the camera, press the bar here and push the, uh, the lens board in, all the way in and uh, close the viewfinder. Uh, actually I ran out of film on this one so I can load a new pack of film. There's a, a, a lever here if you, if you press that that's gonna open the, the film compartment. Okay. Okay, and that's the inside of the camera. Okay, now I'm gonna load a new pack of film. Fuji uh, 100C.
course, the film tells you which side is the uh, the emotion side, and uh, make sure you leave all the paper tabs outside. Okay, so I have the camera here, film here. Put it in. Hope I did everything right. All the paper tabs are out. Okay, and then you just close it. Okay, now the uh, the piece for the dark slide is out here. Uh, to shoot a picture, you first pull the dark slide out. Then it's ready to shoot. You can see uh, number one right here. That's gonna be your first picture. I have some pictures uh, we just took over here. Uh, the first one is not taken inside, but it's what we took a little bit earlier. It's uh, the uh, PX uh, 680 film, uh, gold edition, and uh, you can see the emotion is not spread properly because this film is fairly old, but uh, it's got a lot of the color. Okay, that's from the uh, the SLR 680. It's here, and uh, we have the two taken. Uh, from the two Instax cameras. Uh, the one on the left uh, is the one taken with the 120. You can, yeah, it's quite nice, but you can see the uh, the eyes are are not so clear because the, the camera itself is not exactly in focus. It's a zone focusing camera, so it's not going to be accurate. But on the one taken by the 500 AF, you can see the eyes are very sharp, and it's because um, that's that's uh, they're in focus. Uh, okay, uh, I probably uh, scan them and uh, upload them for a comparison. Uh, we also have the uh, the uh, Polaroid 180 uh, camera, and here is the result of the pure part. Uh, Fuji uh, uh, FP100C. It's quite nice. I, I had the uh, the flash on, so that's that. Uh, there are some other uh, instant camera options you can get. Uh, of course, this very small Instax, uh, the regular Instax type, I guess, is like this size, and uh, uh, I'm pretty sure people love them, and but I, I don't use them that often. Uh, I, I I had one for a very short period of time, but I, I, I never really had it. Um, uh, there are also the uh, the less uh, less hard to find models of the original Polaroid 100 type cameras. The the Polaroid uh, two 250 or 350, uh, they're actually auto exposure. Uh, Pretty easy to use, uh, but some sometimes the uh, the meter inside is uh, very old and they're not working properly. Um, I had one and it, it doesn't work properly. Maybe you will get one better than mine. I guess uh, that's it for today, and uh, thanks for uh, watching.